Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. Welcome to project number 18. In this project, we're gonna work with some leather and we're gonna use a hat. I found these leather patches with adhesive back that you can stick to basically anything and we're gonna stick it onto a hat. So let's get off into the project. All right, so these are the leather patches that I found. I got these patches off of Amazon. I will link in the description below where you can find these patches. Also, if you want to order some, they come in colors of, it's like a gray color, like a like a neutral gray, black, red. It's like an ivory off-white color, and it's brown. And they all have this adhesive back on the outside of them that you peel this off, and you can basically stick to anything. Sizes of them is 4 inches by 8 inches long. I got this hat that I found out of Goodwill. It's just a plain white white hat it's adidas hat it had this under the brim stellar sports or some kind of adidas hat i'm gonna cut out a design using this charcoal color i'm just gonna stick it right on top of this hat right here and this is the logo that i came up with much better okay so this is the logo that i came up with right here i know some of you guys might remember this logo because it came from yo mtv raps but instead of course i decided to put the name of this channel in the inside of it troy the maker since it's not going to be sold in i got this dotted line going around in the inside of it to give it that look to make it seem like it was maybe it was stitched in so hopefully this gives it that type of appearance and this leather patch is going to be around one and a half inches tall a little bit taller and almost two inches wide so let's head over to the glowforce software to engrave and cut it out one quick tip before we head over to the glowforce software anything that i I have to engrave I always export it as a PNG so all of this is going to be exported as a PNG and anything that I have to cut out I always export it as a PDL and when I get over to the Glowforce software I put it all together because these are the best settings that works for me okay so now we in the Glowforce software as you can see I already have my leather in here and since this is an unknown material I'm just going to use the thin natural leather settings that Glowforce have already programmed inside I'm just going to use the same settings that they have and to add the artwork you just add it go to upload and as you can see i always save everything to the desktop it makes it a lot easier and i just upload both of my files the pdf and the png now that i have both files downloaded and now i have to put this outline around the engraving part this part here is going to be cut out and this part is going to be engraved it's very simple you just put them together okay so that seems to look pretty good let's get it ready as you can see it's going to take four minutes and 22 seconds let's head over to the glowforge and cut it out Okay, so I got it all lasered and cut out. As you can see, it turned out really good. But my plan to have the little etch, the little dotted line going around it to make it look like it's been stitched in effect didn't really play out that good. It didn't turn out that good, but it's all right. As you can see, when I put it on a hat like that, it seems kind of too small for the hat. I want it to be a little larger than this. So I'm going to do it over and make it a lot bigger. There it is, man. It's a lot larger. See what I'm saying? That's a big difference. Big brother, little brother. Gonna let the big brother take over on this one. There you have it. Project number 18 complete. Laser cut leather patches. If you like this video, man, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe and the bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. And I'll see you guys in the next project. Thank <laughs> you.